Hey guys, Xdevon here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to grind in Greenville. Some ways and techniques you can grind in Greenville, 2023 edition. Okay, so let's go over some basic stuff after I spawn my car. Um, oh, but, uh, I, I also, I do not like the new type bar. Uh, a lot of people do, like no, like, no offense to anyone that's a type bar lover, but... I just hate this the remodel of the new type R. I just I, I like the previous gen better, the 2020. 2023, I, I just hate it for some reason. But I still bought it. My friends kept uh telling me to, they kept begging me to, because um they said it's really good and all that stuff. I guess I bought it, it's okay in Greenville, but I definitely do not like it in real life. Uh, so anyways, some how to grind in Greenville. Uh okay, so one of the first uh, hacks is to kind of, when you're driving, you earn more money when you drive f 55 miles per hour or 60 miles per hour in between. So if I go 50, so like 55, uh, I wouldn't really suggest going 55 because um, the speedometer always lowers uh, by one mile, so it's going 54. So I'd suggest uh, going 60 because now it's going 59, and you want it in between 55 and 60, and you earn more money actually. Uh, here, if I I can try proving that if my thing will pop up. Uh, while um, my money didn't come in yet, another thing to do is you always, every time you join the game, you always want to select a job that's not interactive. Every five minutes, you would earn like six hundred fifty dollars. For example, on this job, if we go to the phone, um, where's about me or something? Settings profile. So I'm getting, uh, this is my occupation, and I'm getting $650 per 5 minutes. Okay, uh, my mouse can Okay, so right now, we're just gonna go speeding down the road and see how much money we get, compared to when you actually, uh, drive the speed limit. Let's just line up. Oh yeah, this might take, I'm just gonna, okay, there you go. Okay, so it's going to be from here to 6,000 probably. Okay, I'm just going to speed down the road. That's literally what I'm going to do right now. And I'll get in. So this is, uh, I'm kind of proving proving myself that, uh, I'm proving that if you don't go the speed limit that you will earn less money. It's actually true. Okay, now let's stop here. Okay, let's just wait for the money to come in. Okay. Also, while uh, my, the money's coming in again, another thing is, so, uh, this is kind of what Vuxury said, but, like, don't buy every car in the update. Just, just don't. Like, buy a car that you know you will drive. But the thing is, if you buy a car, don't just, like, go, like, oh, I just bought this Expedition, I'm gonna sell it now because I don't like it. Don't do that right away. Just, uh, because you always lose a lot of your money when you buy cars and sell them right away. So just use another car, or just use that car to grind a little bit, and then you should probably sell it. Okay. Uh, how much money did I earn? Oh, frick. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Uh, but anyways, I'm just saying, if you go 55 to 60, you earn more money. And so, yeah. So you want to try to kind of keep your cars, like, you don't want to have, like, you don't want to spend money on cars you, you know you won't drive. And, like... Maybe not by all of the limiteds, but like I would suggest every time limiteds come out, you want to save up money to get the limiteds, uh, cause they're actually really nice. But I wouldn't suggest giving every limited. For example, the Atlas, the Atlas Concept GT, it's not really that worth it. Kind of a waste of money, I guess. Um, let's see what else can I use as an example. Basically, kind of, I don't have all of the limiteds as you can see because um. Basically, when all of the good limiteds came out, I was busy, so, um, yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, and so my next trick, my next kind of hack to grind is going to be at the airport. I'll meet you there. Airport, and this is the second kind of hack. So you want to get a really fuel-efficient car. Um, and yes, this is an old trick, uh, you don't want to get, like, you actually have to get a really fuel-efficient car. Like the Rivian van. This works best on controller. I'm on keyboard right now. It doesn't work that good. Basically, what you want to do, you want to get an auto clicker. Uh, I have one. Um, so, basically, you want to, uh, if you go 60 miles per hour on this trick, it doesn't work. I can demonstrate. So, now, what you want to do, 
you want to turn your car and then click ESC. See, now it's basically just driving in circles. Uh, and then you want to get your auto clicker. I usually do every three minutes. It slows down, it does, but on keyboard, there's no other way to make it go faster. If you're on controller, you can actually make it go 60. Uh, this is a pretty old trick, but it actually still works now. Uh, here, I'm going to try going full speed, and then turning that might actually work better, because it sometimes does. Um, this is a really fuel-efficient car. It's good to grind with. Me and my friends have grinded with it before. It's a pretty good grinding car. Let me just speed up. I don't want to fall out of the map, though. Like this. Okay. So it's going, it is going pretty fast, but you want to go faster than slower. So if you go 50, 60 miles per hour and then click cruise control, it'll slow down. But if you go really fast and then turn, it'll stay at a high speed. You, you would really want to stay at a higher speed because the more miles you drive, you kind of get more money. So if you make smaller circles, you're not really making that many miles. If you make bigger circles, you're making more miles. So yeah, that's another hack for grinding in Greenville. For example, that car works. Um, the Hoopty Prius also is one of my favorites to do this in, but one thing with the Hoopty Prius is the fuel economy isn't that good, so I wouldn't suggest using the Prius, really, unless if it's, like, uh, one of those really fuel-efficient ones. But the thing is with the Prius, you can actually drive 60 miles per hour without it uh, slowing down. That's what I like about it, except you can't really grind, really, with it because the fuel economy... Uh, and so, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to grind in Greenville. So, yeah, I'll just say, I'll just review the things again. So, the ways to grind in Greenville and get more money is you want to drive the speed limit, 55 to 60, you earn more money. Uh, kind of want to, um, oh, uh, you also want to, like, role play. Role playing, uh, so when I role play with my friends, you don't notice, but you actually get a lot of money when role playing. You're just having so much fun, you don't notice. And then, the one I just showed you at the airport, that one works. Uh, uh, but you need an auto-clicker, that's like a need-need. You, you cannot do this without an auto-clicker, it'll, it'll kick you out. Uh, and um, you want to try to keep your cars. You don't really want to sell them right away or anything, because then you're kind of just blowing money, and you don't want to buy every car in the update. And so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah. So now you know some ways to grind in Greenville. Bye, and I'll see you in the next video.